Today we will discuss the block wall problem. How can we represent it? And we will take an example to describe the planning strategy. Block wall problem is the best example to explain planning algorithms in artificial intelligence. There are some identical blocks on the table. There is a robot arm. We can move these blocks by using this robot arm. There are two states given initial state and the final state. We have to design a planning strategy so that we can move from the initial state to the whole state. To represent any block wall problem, we need five predicates on x, y. It means the block x is above block y. For example, in this case, block b is above a. So that means we will write on b a. Similarly, on table x, it means block x is on the table. For example, here c is on the table. So we will write on table c. Clear x, it indicates nothing is above block x. It means, for example, here above c, nothing is there. So we will write clear c. Holding x, when the our robot arm will hold some blocks, on the time we will write holding x, means arm is holding block x. Arm empty means robot arm is empty. We will represent it using strip language. Strip language means only predicates will be there. There will be no negative predicates and we will keep all the predicates in the conjunction form. So, we can represent our initial state by using this strip language. On BA, it means B is on A. On table A means A is on the table. On table C, C block C is on the table. On table D, D is on the table. Clear B, nothing is above B. Clear C, it means nothing is above C. Clear D, it means nothing is above D. Arm empty, robot arm is empty. Similarly, the goal state is on table A, on table B means block A is on the table, block B is on the table, C is above A, D is above B, so on C A, on D B. Nothing is above block C, nothing is above block D, so clear C, clear D, and robot arm is empty. So we have represented start state and the goal state. Robot arm can perform only four actions. Pick up X means pick up the block X from the table. Put down X means keep the block X on the table. Unstack XY it means remove block X above the block Y. Stack XY put the block X above block Y. Here I will show you the action schema for all the actions. In action schema, we represent an action by action name, precondition and the effect. The precondition is the block must be on the table and it must be clear and robot arm is empty. So this is the precondition and what will be the effect? After the operation, when it will perform this operation, robot arm will hold the X. So that's why the effect is hold X. So this is the action schema for pickup operation. Similarly, the put down operation, precondition, the robot arm must hold the block X and it will kept it in the table. So it means precondition will be hold X, effect will be on table X, clear X and arm empty. That means table is block is on the table, robot arm is empty, nothing is above block X. Unstack XY, it means Robot arm will pick this block X from Y. So here the precondition will be nothing will be above X. X is on Y and robot arm is empty. So this is the precondition. And what will be the effect? Robot arm is holding X and clear Y. So that's why hold X and clear Y. For stack operation, robot arm must hold block X and Y must be clear. So that's why hold X and clear Y. So the effect will be X will be above block Y. So it is on XY. Nothing is above block X. So clear X and arm empty. Now, what will be our planning strategy? Planning strategy is the sequence of steps or the action by which we can go from the initial state to the goal state. Here we are using forward planning strategy. That means we will start from the initial state and at last we will move to the goal state. This is our initial state. Now we will perform 
unstack b a to perform unstack b a b must be on a arm must be empty and clear b so on b a clear b arm empty all the preconditions are true so we can perform the unstack operation the effect will be holding b and clear a so hold b clear a so this is the next state after performing this unstack b operations we will remove all the precondition we will add all the effect of this unstack operation in the next state next we will perform put down operation holding b this condition is true we will add the effects in the next state and we will remove the hold b from this next state next action will be pick up c again the precondition is true and the effect is hold c next we will put c on the block a so we will perform stack c a operation precondition is again true we will apply the effect in the next state then we will pick up d and precondition again it is true and this it is holding d now we will perform stack db operation we will put d on b the precondition is true we will add the effect here we can see we have reached in the goal state so this is our total planning strategy first we will perform unstack ba then put down b then pick up c then stack ca then pick up b then stack b then we will reach to the goal state so this is the planning strategy in this way we will solve block wall problem